Today I'm going to show you how to create a free email campaign using Canva. Now this is a campaign that you can also create on your website that you can use to collect emails and grow an email audience which you can also use to promote your products using email campaigns. So what we're going to do first is to create a website. Okay, we're going to create a completely free website using Google Sites, all right? So just come over here and type sites.google.com on your browser, which will take you to this page over here. Now, these are websites that I've created, but if you've never used Google Sites before, you're going to have a completely blank page. So you're going to click on Create New Site. So this is your website template. This is what you're going to design. This is where you're going to add your products. And this is basically going to be the template of your website. So we're going to start with the name over here. Okay, I'm just going to give it a name. I'll just call this the perfect website. And most likely this name is taken, but we're going to find that out later. So I'll just copy this as well. Okay, I'll paste it here, which automatically just even pastes it. And then over here, we're going to give it another name. Okay, we can call it the same name here, but I'm going to call it something else. Now, this also depends on what it is that you're promoting. So let's say I'm promoting clothes or cosmetics or something like that. I'll just give it something related to that. So I would say something like suits or something like that and then down over here you can change also the background so if you click on your image over here you can select the different type of background that you want so i'll just go and click on select and then i go over here to google images so i will just look for suits and here i will choose any image over here so i'll just go with this one here and there we go so we have created our cover or our website banner now down over here we're going to add more content so if you look on the right hand side over here, the different content blocks. All right, so there is image on the left, text on the right, two images at the top, two texts at the bottom, and so on and so on. So for me, I'm just going to choose the first one, which is this. I'll just click on that. And then what we'll have here is an image on the left and text on the right. So I can have another image over here. I'll just click on plus, click on select image. Again, I'll look for suits, more suits over here. I'll go over to Google Images. I'll just type suits. And again, I'll choose any. I will go with this one this time. Click on insert. And on the right hand side, I'll just give it a name. So this looks like a green suit. I'll just call this uh, green. Uh, maybe fine fabric. Maybe fine fabric suit. That's just a name that I've picked. And then here you have more description. So again, if you have more, uh, if you have a description, product description, you can go ahead and add it at the bottom over here. But this is more like the price. I would like to add the price over here. So I would just say maybe uh 120 dollars okay so that would be the price of this suit now you can also go ahead and make the price bigger you can you know extend this font size maybe give it 15 or uh, 18 let me just give it 20 all right then down over here i can also duplicate this and add more suits so i can just click on this duplicate over here and again i select this and i change this okay i'll click on this over here click on replace click on select Okay, again, I go over here, type suits. Over I can just type suit, uh, photo shoot. And with this one here, you'll get more photo shoot kind of uh, suits. So I'll just select this one here and click on insert. All right, so now this one will be a different color. I'll just call this red. And you can also go ahead and change the price. All right. Right now, another thing that you might want to add is a uh, text over here. Okay, so what you can do, you can click on text box over here. Okay, and then you drag this up at the top over here. Okay, it's also going to add some kind of space. So you can give anything here. You can call this maybe, you know, find the best bespoke, maybe suits, or maybe at the lowest, okay, price. All right, so I'm going to align this to the center. And then, of course, I'm going to give it a bigger title, maybe that. And then you can also go ahead and change the color if you want. Okay, maybe uh, green. They can leave it at green. You can also go ahead and bold it. Okay, so now that we have created a website, a very simple single page website, I'll just go ahead and publish. Okay, so we're going to see if this name is available. The perfect, the perfect website. Okay, that, so that's been taken. So 2024. All right, so this one is still available. So the perfect website 2024. Okay, but you don't want to give this a name as your website. This is just for tutorial purposes. So I'll just click on uh, publish. And now we can click on view. And there we go. So we have our website. 
All right, so now that we have created our website, our next step is to create the newsletter in Canva. Okay, so you're going to come over to Canva and here you're going to search for email newsletter. All right, and then you'll click on this one here, email newsletter. And here you will see different newsletter templates that you can use. Some are free and some are paid. So you can just go and select whichever you like. But the one that I recommend that you choose are the ones that say, you know, something like 20% off, you know, maybe something like a sale, 50% uh, sale off. These ones tend to, you know, get more signups compared to those that don't. Okay. So for example, I'll go with this one here. This one is free. I'll just click on this. All right. And then I'll click on customize this template. All right, so this here is your template. Now you can go ahead and customize every element over here. As you can see, as we hover over them, they are each being highlighted. So you can go ahead and customize every one of them. So I'll just zoom this in closer so we can edit it more clearly. So here you can say something else. So instead of celebrate your special occasion with a flashback sale, maybe you can go ahead and change this, but this seems to be okay because they're looking for a flash, you know, a flash sale. They would like to get a flash sale. And as you can see, it says two days only limited offer. This is also a call to action that will prompt them to, you know, take action much faster. Um, here we have, you know, now the, uh, the discount, the 20% off. Here you can say something else when purchased or when purchase of $150 plus. Okay, they have another button here. And here you also have apply a code before checkout. So this will be the code. So I'm going to uh, delete some of these. <coughs> okay, I'm going to delete some of this. So what I really want is for them to enter their email addresses. Okay, so here I can I can change this. Okay, instead of this shop now, I can tell them to enter their email addresses. So maybe I'll just expand this first. Okay, I'll just expand this button. Okay, I want to make it as big as possible. And then here I would say, uh, maybe sign up now, not enter email address, but sign up now. All right, with a uh, exclamation mark there. Okay, so sign up now, and then we can now remove this code. You can actually apply a code if you want, but in this case, I'll just remove this code. Okay, and this as well. So I can even have a bigger space for the sign up now. Okay, so something like that. Now down over here, you can also see you have, the, you have your contacts, you have your phone number here. I'll just remove the phone number. Okay, I'll also remove this logo here. Okay. And here you also have your website, so you can actually place your website name over here. But for this uh, case, I won't have my website there, and I'll also delete this as well. Okay, so you can just remove everything else all at once here. Okay, I'll just remove that. And then you can just have it as simple as this. Now for the background, I want to have something else. Okay, I'd like to change this background. I'd like to have maybe like a, a suit or something like that. So I'll go over to elements. Okay, I'll just type suit. Okay, and then you can see there is graphics, photos, and videos. Let me start with graphics. And as you can see, you can use different types of graphics here for your suit. Okay, I'll just go with this one here, the free one. I'll select this. Okay, I'll expand. I'll just stretch this like this. Okay, something like this. And then I'll send this now back, you know, to the position. I'll send it uh, to the background, that is. I'll click back like that. And then you can have it. As you can see, we have it now at the back of the image over there okay now i should have gotten a better image but this is just another way that you can actually change the background of your newsletter so maybe i can just drag this all down okay see if i can i'll just drag all of it in fact i'll just uh, undo this okay because i want to bring everything else down okay i will just highlight all this all right i'll group all of it and then i'll drag everything down here just like this Okay, now we can have a suit at the top over here. Okay, I'll just look for another photo. Let me go with the photos and I'll see if I can use this one here. Okay, I'll just go with this. I drag this up over here just like this. And then now I'll send this back using position and we will have it like this. So I'm going to ungroup this. Just ungroup this because I want to remove this. All right. So there we go. I will also remove this text because it's not really visible. All right. So there we go. So this is how we can easily have our newsletter. Now, another thing is that you might also want to match the background of this. Okay. This gray with this because, you know, this image comes with this gray. So you might want to remove this. So in order to do that, you can just click on this section. Click on this over here. Okay. You're going to click on this add new color. You're going to click on this pen. All right, and then just click on this area here to get that color tone, which is also going to match with the rest of it. 
okay as you can see now it's so much better you can also change the color of this i don't think i like this color here um let me see if i can go with a totally different color okay not something too bright okay let me see okay blue is a good color but i'll select a lighter a lighter blue okay maybe something like that and you can also go ahead and change the rest of these so i'll just leave it like this and then i'll just click on share okay click on download and i'll just go with jpg for a smaller size you don't need a png i'll just download that all right so now that we have downloaded our newsletter from canva we're going to go back to our website okay and we're going to scroll down over here now we're going to add that newsletter down over here and we're going to do that using images okay going to select images okay you're going to click on upload and we're going to click on our newsletter click on open and then we are going to have it as you can see at the bottom left over here okay and you can also have this on the left you can move it rather or rather on the in the middle or even on the right hand side it just depends on how you want to have your website or rather your newsletter looking like so this is how we're going to have it look like okay now if you prefer having it horizontal okay rather than vertical like this because i think horizontal will make more sense okay uh, you can also go ahead and customize that you can just go back here to canva now you're going to click on customize size okay and here on your width you're going to have a 1920 okay so it's going to be more like a widescreen so 1920 by 1080 height okay so this will be 1920 and then here will be 1080 okay now as you can see it's a presentation which you can also choose from here okay so i'll just go ahead and select presentation select the first one here okay now you can go back to the previous one that you created all right this one here and you can just get the elements for example you can just in fact you can just copy the whole thing you can just highlight everything like this okay select copy you come back over here and you paste everything else over here now it's up to you to rearrange everything okay let's first highlight this one here i'd like to have this maybe here okay now this image will be here i'll bring back the flash cell okay i'll bring the flash cell over here okay in fact i can just group this first and then i just expand this like this okay i'll have this over here and then we'll have our suit over here this will even be better than the other so i'll just make this much bigger like this have it at the center there okay i'll remove that star there and then again we're going to blend the background of this color with the background for the suit so i'll just select again white over here click on this okay click on this pencil i click on this gray which is going to automatically change or adjust the rest of this okay so once you're done just click on share over here click on download okay make sure it's a jpg or a jpeg okay just like that okay now you can come back to your website now we can remove this all right and then click on images click on upload select that image and click on open and there we go so now you can just have this at the center here and then just expand it like this okay so something looking like this okay i'll have this just in the middle right there okay so we are now done with our website now what we are going to do next is to link our website with an email marketing tool okay we're going to use a free email marketing tool which are actually going to link with our website or with our newsletter that we just created from canva and we've uploaded here on our website so that we can actually start collecting email addresses okay so we're going to be using this tool here called ConvertKit. okay ConvertKit is also another great email marketing tool it's actually free it's just like uh, get response you're just going to go over here to convertkit.com i'll also link it down in the description and you're going to click on start a free trial so here you're going to create a new account just enter your name email and password and this is going to be your dashboard so you're going to head over to grow just click on grow and click on landing page pages and forms all right down here at the bottom right you're going to click on create a form and you're going to click on inline okay okay here you can choose any template that you want to use i'll just go with charlotte all right so here is where you're going to customize this template so here you can change everything you can start with this text over here so instead of saying get our guide you want it 
to say something related to what you're promoting, okay? Or something that's in line with what's in your website over here, okay? So we have something like this. So we can also say maybe something similar, flash sale, 20% off. So you can come back over here, okay? Do something very similar. So instead of saying get hour, you can say get 20% off. And then here on your left hand side, you can also change this image. You can just go back over here to general styles, scroll down over here, click on replace. Okay, now you can change this to the newsletter that we downloaded from Canva. So you just click on choose file. I'm just going to go with the vertical one, click on open. And there we go. So we have that over there. And next you have this button here. So instead of send me the guide, you can also go ahead and say something totally different. So we can say get flash sale now. And you can also change the color if you want. Okay, I'll just go with the blue one, which will match the color that we had earlier on our landing page. Okay. Now, once you are done with that, you're going to go over to settings. Okay, click on settings at the top over here. And you're going to click on domain name. Okay, make sure domain name is selected. And you're going to select first your custom domain. Okay, this is the domain that you're given when you sign up. So just select that. You're then going to copy this page URL here. Okay, your default uh, domain that you've been given. Click on save. All right. Then you're going to click on save over here. Okay. Now you're going to come back to your website. All right. And you're going to select this over here. You're going to click on this insert link and you will paste your link right there and click on apply. All right. Now you're going to click on publish. Click on publish again. Okay. Now you can refresh your website and scroll down over here and then now you can see you have your newsletter so now when they click on this okay let's say they want a 20 percent off on the suits they're going to click on sign up now which will take them to convert kit where they'll enter their email address so they'll enter for example email address here and click on subscribe okay and they will get this success you've been added to the list thank you for subscribing new posts will arrive in your inbox when i publish them in the future okay which means you can easily send them uh, emails, you can send them content, you can send them your posts, you can send them offers, you can even send them affiliate products that you would like them to check out and buy. Okay, so this is a really cool way to actually start an email marketing system, especially when you're using tools like Canva. These are actually free tools that you can use on your website, which you can also create using Google Sites, another free platform. And this is how you can create a very simple email marketing system with canva and google sites now if you're interested in my personal one-on-one -on -one zoom affiliate marketing training i have a link in the description this is a vigorous training where i go through all the steps you need to be successful as an affiliate marketer and start earning monthly affiliate marketing commissions so again i'll have a link in the description if you're interested but that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching see you on the next one